In this video, I'm going to share another really cool way to use Midjourney for print on demand, and that is generating quality color schemes that you can then apply to your t-shirt designs very easily. I actually got this idea from Steve, who posted about this in the uh, print on demand Discord server, our community server, which is linked in the description if you want to join it as well. We help each other out in there. Um, you can ask questions and get answers very quickly about anything print on demand or AI at work. And yeah, so I think you don't necessarily need need to use Midjourney for this. Other AI generators will probably also do a decent job of it. But since Midjourney is my personal tool of choice, I'm going to show you the process in there today. So here we are inside of Midjourney and essentially all you have to do is type in forward slash imagine then a certain topic that relates to your niche or um, you could also type in certain colors. Um, I'm going to give you various examples in this video of what to type in here. But let's say, for example, we start with summer and then just type color palette at the end of this. Um, I also tried color scheme, but I seem to be getting better results when I type in color palette. One thing you could do right here uh, to be a bit more specific is you could type in some colors that you want to be included. Let's say you want something um, that is quite muted, you know, like a pastel color scheme. You could do um, orange, pink, and purple pastel color palette. Um, that's one way to be a bit more specific and not have such a random color scheme generated for you. Um, you could do various different holidays as well if you wanted to. So um, let's say um, obviously you saw an Easter example there before. Let's say we want a Halloween color scheme in this. We type that in and it's probably going to come back with something that's quite orange and purple. Now here we've got the summer one and that already looks really, really nice. We've got some summer centric graphics like ice cream, uh, this van right here. We've got some summer fruits and next to it, you always get these color palettes. I'm going to show you in a little while how to sample these uh, more quickly and more easily. But yeah, just for now, we want to look through some of these results. So Halloween has been generated as expected orange and purple. This is quite purple and blue heavy, which is not ideal, I suppose. Um, so if you wanted to get a more refined result there, you could type in something like forward slash imagine orange Halloween and then color palette. Just to give you an example of what I would have done with this prompt. Now the pastel orange, pink and purple has come out really, really nice. I could see that working in various different designs. Um, now, let me give you some more examples of different keywords that you might want to type in here. So let's say you are creating a design for a white t-shirt, you know, a, a white background or lighter t-shirt color. Then you would want the colors to be quite dark so they, they're easily seen so that they stand out on the shirt. Um, in that case, you might want to put right here dark color palette or you could say dark blue and red color palette if you want a mixture of those colors. Obviously, on the contrary, you could say um, vibrant and bright color palette for a darker T-shirt if you are plotting to like black, navy, asphalt, those sorts of colors. Um, so you have to adjust your prompt right here to fit your niche um, or your specific scenario. So this Halloween color scheme um, looks a lot better and more what I was looking for, really, compared to this one right here. I mean, both could work, um, but the orange one is probably better. Um, let's scroll up through these results and see what I did earlier. So green and red Christmas color palette. Uh, this is definitely really nice and could be usable for Christmas. I think this bottom right one looks the best. Here's another pastel color scheme, really neat. We've got dark and orange. We've got an Easter color scheme or color palette. Uh, these are really neat as well. So you get the idea of various different topics that you can type in and try out um, depending on what niche you enter. And you might be wondering, how do I actually copy these color schemes now, now or make use of them? So there's a few different options you have here. You can either install a free Chrome extension or browser extension. It is called Color Pick eyedropper. I will link that in the description. And if you install that and click the extension, you can literally just aim for whichever color you want to sample, then click on it and you can copy the hex code right here really quickly and then paste it into your design. Now, an even quicker way, if we scroll back down to our results, is by opening it up, right clicking onto the image, then hitting copy 
image and then you could jump into your design software in my case I'm using Illustrator I know it works with Illustrator and Photoshop I don't know if it works with every tool but if you hit Control V it should be pasting the image into your design tool and then you can usually use a color picker which in Illustrator you access either in the toolbar over here um, I don't even know where exactly it is because I usually just hit oh there it is because I usually just hit I on my keyboard to bring that up and then you could very very quickly just click on any color that you see and then hold down alt and drop it onto any of these letters right here um, just to give you an example of what i would do then we could go to the next color from this maybe this orange and paste that onto a few of these letters maybe now one of these purples so I think you get the gist. Um, that is one of the quickest way that I've found to apply color schemes to your designs. It's just literally opening the image up in your design tool, looking for an eyedropper tool, and then quickly copy and pasting everything over. So here we've colored this in in literally under a minute, and um, the really nice color scheme was generated by Mid Journey completely from scratch, which is amazing. So yeah, I hope you have fun with this method. I've definitely had a lot of fun playing around with it, and will use this a lot in future. And also let me know if you're trying this in other AI generators, how it turns out in there, whether you're using Blue Willow or DALI um, or anything for free, CF Spark. Let me know in the comments below what your results look like there. If you're still debating whether to start a print on demand business, then definitely make sure to check out this video next, where I share 10 reasons with you as to why you should start.